Welcome back to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today, we'll be going over the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter coaxial master chronometer, 42 millimeters in stainless steel with a white dial, black bezel reference number 210.30.42.20.04.001 quite a long reference number but one of the newer models from 2019 this is just a seamaster diver 300 meter for brevity's sake we'll be going over the case the bezel crown movement and the uh the bracelet and i'll be giving you my thoughts on those throughout the video this case as I said earlier, it is 42 millimeters in diameter from finger to thumb. It is 13.4 millimeters thick at the thickest point because that crystal is a domed sapphire with a 48.3 millimeter lug to lug distance made entirely out of stainless steel. Note that every single possible surface, every major surface, even you know that tiny ring of space between the case and the lug are all brushed satin to give that watch an excellent texture. However, there's some very, very, very thin accented high polish areas that go from lug to lug, from bottom to top, top to bottom, from the lug there, just trimming the side all the way down to the bottom. And the same goes with the three o'clock side there. All right, as you can see that high polish uh, reflects very well. All right. Also, this case is an open case back, so you can see the movement inside there. Also, glare proof sapphire crystal on the back, flat on the back, domed on the front, and it has an anti reflective treatment on the inside as well for ease of reading without seeing numbers twice. So you'll have no fear of anything like suit threads or buttons even potentially scratching the crystal. And when it comes to the bezel, a, it's a ceramic bezel or it's a it's a bezel with a ceramic insert rather same sort of thing very difficult to scratch um, kind of a fingerprint magnet but i doubt you'll really be leaving much there and listening to the bezel it has a very crunchy feel so you get that physical feedback of you can actually feel each tick as it goes across and using it as a timer aligning it with the minute hand so you can effectively time your decompression stops underwater makes it very handy all right also you can use this as a an, an impromptu minute timer all the way up to a whole hour simply just place the zero marker that enamel pearl at the top and just place it in line with that minute hand and you have your own timer there really easy to use all right, and well, while we're here, we can also talk about the luminescence. If we turn out the lights, you can see that it is very nicely lumed. The pearl and the minute hand actually have a greener color, less blue, more green. And that's so that you can actually tell very easily underwater, you know, where that pearl is. So you can easily line it up, line it up green to green, nice and easy. And also note that the seconds hand also has its own luminescence as it slowly sweeps across. Very useful there as well in low light situations. All right, and turning the lights back on, let's take a look at the dial. Specifically, it has a white dial with those laser etched waves placed in there. Date aperture at the six o'clock instead of the three o'clock, all the older Seamasters, the older Omegas had the date aperture at the three o'clock. Now it's fully balanced against the Omega logo and the double hashed or double index marked uh, 12 o'clock, we have the date aperture at the six. So relatively easy to balance there. All right, and when it comes to watch functions, it works just as you would expect. Simply unwind the crown on the, the three o'clock side. First position allows you to wind the watch from a dead stop if you'd like, or if you need to. Only about 25, 30 full turns is all you really need. Pull it out to the next position, and you have to rotate the the crown about. Well, it feels a somewhere between a quarter and a half turn. It may be a full half turn actually. 
No, it's more like a three quarters turn. So the throw is kind of far, but not too bad. So if you find yourself, say on the 28th of February, it'll take quite a few turns to get from there to the 1st of March. But you know, honestly, it's, it's just something that you need to do maybe once a month if you really need to, all right? And pulling it out to the final position, actually hacks out seconds hand so you can set your time precisely. Just wait for the seconds hand for an atomic clock to sweep around and ready to press it in and wind it back against the case to ensure a 300 meter or 1000 foot water resistance as you can see directly on that dial. It says so right there. All right. So what makes all of this possible is the movement. It's the caliber Omega 8800, a self-winding movement with coaxial escapement, certified master chronometer approved by METAS, meaning that it has passed eight rigorous tests set by the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology. So you can be sure that this timepiece is not only accurate, but precise. And also it maintains that water resistance with that time precision. It is resistant to magnetic fields reaching 15,000 Gauss and is also equipped with a silicon balance spring with automatic bi-directional winding. As you can see, even with that rotor, it is actually winding right now as I move it back and forth within its own casing. All right. And taking a look at that closely, you can actually see the rhodium plated finish with the, G the Geneva waves in arabesque, giving it a very pleasant aesthetic reminiscent of the ocean. The power reserve altogether is 55 hours, so you can set it down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday morning, you'll be keeping track of time just fine. All right, and so what's framing all of this watch together is this bracelet. It's a five piece across bracelet, all right, each link containing five separate pieces alternating from brush to high polish, even within these intermediary links, high polish, brush, high polish, all right? And with a high polish uh, just on the screws, we're, we're maintaining that brush finishing, continuing from the case directly down to the bracelet, keeping that brush finishing, keeping it all together in harmony. All right, now this clasp has the Omega logo and has the double push button deployment, a single decided deployment. So it's kind of more like that clamshell look with a single pin to lock in there. And also note that there's, it works very much like a, a deep sea or, or submariner or well, more like a deep sea actually, because you actually have a literal push button right there underneath the clasp. All you do is you push it in and you can actually slide out this extra bit of bracelet if you need it. And if you need even more, just bust that open right there. Extra, extra clasp so that if you have this sized perfectly to your wrist at the smallest position, you can even put this on over a wetsuit. So you can actually have your watch out with you as you dive. All right, and now that we have this open, I can try it on, give you some more of my thoughts as to how it feels. My wrist is about 7.25, 7.5 inches in circumference. So having all the links on here is, you know, obviously excessive, but feeling it tighter on my wrist, maybe if I were to wear this higher up about the middle of my arm, actually got to lean in there really close. All right. I'm getting a really good ratio of bracelet to case. And now if I wear it lower on my wrist here, I actually get an even better ratio there. Now, granted, this is not ideal for me because it is 42 millimeter case size and that lug to lug distance does add a little bit onto that. So keep with that in mind, I do get a little bit of strap, not as much as I'd like, but that's just personal taste. I do like the contrast here, the high contrast between the bezel and the dial makes it a very, very easy read. Those skeletonized hands with the, um, the blue luminescence actually makes it a very, very attractive option for nighttime wear or just, you know, general diving as well. All right, very good feeling. It's also kind of heavier toward the top, even though, even though I have all this bracelet as a counterweight, taking any more links off really would make the top 
the, the case a little bit heavier than the rest of the bracelet. So note that your center of mass would generally be around the top of your wrist there. All right. So when it comes to wearing it, that's what I think. But enough of that. What do you think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like as it really helps our channel out. And be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, current, prod current production or discontinued, let us know. See us at jazztime.com. Links in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.